What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're in Minot, Minot, I don't know, North Dakota? I mean, I know we're North Dakota. I know how to spell the town we're in. I don't know how to pronounce it. So, I did a whole six hours today. Why? Well, as I told y'all yesterday, uh, I can only do nine hours for the next four days. With today being over, four days I have to do nine hours. So, eat fresh. Uh, my math was off. I can do just a little over eight hours every day. Uh, like eight and a quarter. And that's because I have just a little over 34 hours left on my cycle. I won't get my rollover hours until Wednesday. So. Today is Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's four hours, or four days. A little over eight hours a day. And that's with only doing six today. But, as you saw, we did drop that trailer. And because it's a commonly asked question, how often do you get paid? How quick do you get paid? What's the turnaround on payments? You know, it's always word different, same general idea. And I would assume that's coming from in the hotshot world. Uh, I've heard of up to three months before you receive a payment. So, I dropped it at, it was just a little after one o'clock, the local time here. And at, 4.30 local time here, I was paid. Uh, that's typically about as fast as it'll ever happen. I've, I've, I think once I got it a little faster, but typically that's, that's about the quickest it's going to be is five, six hours. It depends on when in the day you, you uh, get your paperwork turned in and then they actually process it. So the way that works is you, after you deliver the unit, you take a bunch of pictures and you upload them through the app. And you click on the button that says, I have delivered this unit. That changes the layout for that load. Uh, because the app shows every load you're dispatched on, whatever load you have picked up, and so on. Once you have said, I have delivered that unit, it gives you the option to upload your delivery documents. That's going to be your BOL, uh, any receipts for tolls or permits that you had to purchase or I don't know, well, your fee for washing the unit if you had to do that, that kind of stuff. So, once you get that done and that's horrible, that's better. So you, you take pictures of all that with the app and it uploads them as one file and you hit send and it launches those off. You receive a confirmation email Typically, within a couple minutes of you sending that, you, you'll you'll get that uh, that email from from the app saying that your delivery documents have been received. Now, depending how backed up the processing department is, or if they're at lunch, or if it's in the evening, or a weekend, or whatever, you will receive an email very shortly after that says paperwork processed and they have the unit number attached at the end of them so you know which one your your emails correspond to <clears throat> then once that happens there's I think I think it's three times in the day I'm not positive uh, and this is all in in Indiana time so Eastern I, I, I think it's 10 that unit I just delivered with someone it's personal we'll get to that in a minute it's 10 1 30 and 5 30 I think do not quote me on that I there anyway don't quote me on that 100% but that's how it works once you once you have received the paperwork processed once that payment cycle crosses you will receive your payment so if you go in it, say you're in California dropping a unit, and you 
deliver your paper or you drop it at 2 p.m. California time on a Friday. You will not will not receive payment on that unit until Monday. Because at 2 o'clock California time, that's after 5 o'clock Indiana time and they're closed. So you will not get that paperwork processed email. until they reopen, which would be Monday. Or, in this case, it's a holiday, so it most likely will be Tuesday. Uh, that's not going to affect me, because I won't be delivering until Wednesday. So I'll be fine. Now, when I dispatched this unit that I just delivered this morning, or got dispatched on this unit, it was coming from place called Country Corner RV. Now, once again, I assumed that was an RV store. <clears throat> so I dispatched on it. I got the BOL, Country Corner RV. But it had the same phone number for pickup and drop off. Which is, well, hey, there shouldn't be a phone number for pickup. That was my first code. So, I call this number. I don't get an answer. It's a personal cell phone. And I could tell that because of the voicemail message that was on it. So, I Google the name of the pickup place, Country Corner RV. It's an RV park. I call them. Hey, I'm supposed to pick this unit up from you. Uh, it's, it's this long, it's this brand. Oh, yep, 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 that's ours. Uh, it's up in spot, I think he said, I don't know, seven or something. I don't remember. Some spot by the dumpster. I said, okay. This is a personal unit. Outstanding. Show up there. Dude's living in it. It's full of all of his stuff. It was uh, 16,000 pounds empty, ship weight. I would venture to say it was a good bit over that because uh, dude's living in it. Kind of got everything in it. The wind just picked up. I hope that's not screwing up the audio on this. So, I hook up and I start moving. She's heavy and dirty. This is after scrubbing in the bathroom trying to get all the grease off of it, which I don't know where it came from. I guess. The only thing I can think of is the plate mount, because really the only thing I touch. Oh, the power cable. That's off the power cable. The guy had his fridge full of food, which tells me the tanks were probably full of water as well. And uh, he asked me to reconnect his power cable because the fridge was full of food and he didn't want it to go bad. And. He is not going to be there until tomorrow. Or tonight. I don't know. He was not there when I dropped off. So. That's that. That's power cable. So. <clears throat> Quick recap. We went over how the payment thing works. We went over payment processing time. We went over how much fun it is to haul someone's personal unit that they live in. And we covered that for the next four days, I am going to be running extremely short hours. Um, since we have the reset channel, and I'm going to be parking for way longer than normal since I typically run for 12 hours-ish throughout the whole day. I'm not driving 12 hours, that's illegal. But from the time I get up and I go and I do my pre-trip and I take my 30 minute break and at some point I have to get fuel and then I go and I park and I do all that stuff, I'm usually just a little over 12 hours a day. 
now I'm stopping at eight hours every day, maybe even a little less in some days. Uh, maybe we should do a live sometime over the next four days. Probably the weekend would be my guess. You know, since a lot of states are still locked down, y'all ain't. Maybe y'all don't have something to do. You let me know. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Those are your options. Um, or we could just stick to doing it on the 34. But I do have a couple projects I want to get done. I'm not sure how much kind of time that's going to consume. So I don't know. But you let me know. <laughs> I have no issue doing one live a week. We'll do... Uh, you guys tell me when. Okay? I'm going to go in and get a shower. That's why I stopped originally here at six hours. Because I have a shower credit. For, oh, there it is. I have a shower credit for those guys right there. Why pay for a shower when you can get one for free, right? So that's why I stopped here. This is the only one for a couple hundred miles. I need a shower. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to get some dinner. And uh, I'm glad that I did that because I learned I was way off on my math. <laughs> so, next four days, eight hours a day. As always, those of you on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.